Hello then, good evening. This is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create dynamic query parameters and use them as filters in your reports. So this is a feature that came in uh, July 2016 and uh, I was on vacation then so I totally miss it and probably I would have missed it anyway. Um, I knew about it from a blog post from Chris Webb uh, where he explains uh, what this new feature actually does and this is what we're going to go through in today's video. Um, I'm going to post a link to Chris Webb's blog because uh, he is extremely good at what he does and uh, if you are not following him I really recommend you to do it. So if you remember how our Rio 2016 Olympics file looks like, and for those of you that haven't seen it before, I will post a link to it so you can download it. So we had a report for overall medals and then a report for athletes, a report for sports and then some alerts. So let's say for the sake of the demo that we want the athletes reports to be filtered by a country of the user's choice. So let's say that you are going to send these to all the countries that participated in the Olympics and they only want to see their athletes. They are not interested about everybody's athletes, but they want to see how they are doing in the overall total. So they don't want to filter that. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. I have an example already done, uh, so let's look at how the final report would look like. You will be able to download this file, so don't worry if you want to follow along. So the first thing that will happen is that uh, Power BI will ask us for this uh, parameter. Which country would you like us to filter these for? And an indication that this is happening dynamically is this evaluating, you see? So it's going in the background, it's getting the list and it's saying, okay, is there new countries that won any medals? Should we update this? And once it is ready, it will let us choose a country from the list. So now that uh, the list is loaded, we can select a country. Mm, I should have actually filter, sort those up, right? It's a little bit messy, but let's choose, we can do that in our exercise. Let's choose uh, Spain. And then we click load and you will see what happens. So. It is going to load the entire report, which we wanted to do. But the difference here from the other file I show you is that overall medals, we see all the countries. Athletes, we see only countries from Spain. And sports, we see all sports. Oh yeah, sports is also filtering because it's in the same list. Sorry, it is definitely listing also sports. And then uh, alerts is something else. It's already filtered by Spain and Sweden. So how did I do that? That's what I'm going to show you right now. So for that, we will use our original Rio Summer Olympics. And let's create that parameter, dynamic parameter. So. To do that is actually quite easy uh, with the new functionality that they added. You click on Edit Queries. And now what we want to do is the athlete medals. Uh, we want these for the person that is reading the report to choose a country and so the list gets filtered by it. Okay. So what we will do, the athlete medals has the country code. So this is the one that we're going to use. You right click and then add as new query. 
this is useful for all kinds of things, also not only for doing dynamic uh, query parameters. So what we want to do is remove the uh, duplicates. We just want to have unique values. So we do that. And now we have a list of the countries that have won any medals in the Rio Olympics. So now we're going to create a parameter. So we go to Home, Manage Parameters. And we are going to add a new one. And this parameter we can call select country. And here we are going to choose query. And query we are going to get country code. And we have to pick a value from the beginning. So let's pick Spain. OK. So now we have a query parameter that gets the values from the country code list that gets the value from the athlete medals. So when we open the Power BI template, then it was uh, refreshing this. So we would get uh, all the new countries in here. So now what we want to do is to go back to our athlete medals and make this column filter by the query parameter. And to do that, you click here, text filters equals. And here you choose parameter and country. Okay. So we chose in Spain, this will filter by Spain. Here we have it. And uh, close and apply. So uh, now we have um, everything filtered as we would like. Uh, so what we want to do now is when our users open up the file, they have the possibility to choose the country they want. And for that, you have to save this report as a template. So to do that, you go to Save, Save As, and then put it there. And then you choose Power BI template file. That's all you need to do. And when the user opens the file, it will see what I show you in the beginning. You know, you will see the um, the drop down box being uh, refreshed, so the new values can get uh, retrieved, and the user can choose them. So this is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I think this is a really, really useful trick. You can do this with the sales files and you can do it with, uh, I mean, any kind of thing that you want to filter by the user. I, th I think uh, geographical filters are quite useful if you have like sales companies in your territory or something like that. So um, I really hope you find it useful. Uh, if you like this video, please let me know. Um, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, let me know in the comment box. And uh, subscribe, I publish around the video a week. Have a nice evening. Bye!